Hi, I'm Clara. Today we are going to share a service case we handled last year. It's about the Z negative limit signal is valid. Capacitance becomes zero. You can click the link below in the description to have trip to our store. If you are new here, I want to let you know that every single week I will make one long video and three shorts 100% relate to industry laser knowledge that help you go from being a lost, less focused laser operator to become a real master in the workplace. So be sure to join us by pressing the subscribe button and the bell down. Let's go ahead! The customer side, the Z axis will not go up, only downwards were allowed. And the cutting head had been contacted with the table. We can see from the picture, the nozzle bottom is completely down the plate. So we first ask the customer to check the Z axis limit sensor. Normally, the limit sensor of Z axis should be at the back part of right side of the cutting head. When you are facing the machine positively, when the sensor is working normally, the right indicator on it should be always on. Found the sensor, then we ask the customer try to block the sensor and check whether the alarm of Z negative limit signal is valid disappeared. After testing to block the sensor, we found the alarm is still there, no any changes. So we thought probably the sensor is damaged and ask the customer to find a new one to replace the used one. The customer found one sensor stocked and installed it. After the replacement, the Z axis would go up, but only if the sensor was blocked and there was no alarm of Z negative limit signal is valid. But a new alarm local cap decrease was shown in BCS100 when the Z axis was moving upward. But the alarm was gone when the sensor was blocked. Then we ask the customer to do a floating calibration, but it turned out it was not possible because the BCS alarm came again when the cutting head started to get down. The alarm was the same as the very first one. The negative limit signal is valid. And the same, the alarm would get lost when the sensor was blocked. Up to here, we thought the sensor that the customer replaced was not the correct model it should be. Probably, the polarity of the two sensors was opposite. The used sensor, which is also the damaged one, is NO tap, but the new one is a NC tap. That is the reason why it doesn't work. So we ask the customer trying to get a NO sensor and we got this problem over after replacing the correct sensor. Here I would like to make a reminder. It's super normal that the machines will get issues just like human get sick. Where there is a problem, there will be a solution. As we always say, there are more ways than difficulties. Some minor problems could be solved by a simple answer, but some will take longer time to find the correct solution. It's today's topic. Please do remember to leave your comment below. I will try to reply you by a short video on each Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. If you still have time, stick around and check another video. My Alibaba shop is below in the description. Go there and check what you want. Thanks! See you next Tuesday!